World of Warcraft, who burned Tedrasil? Now, it's been speculated that the Horde burned Tedrasil, and I have proof that the Horde was framed. So stick around, and I'm going to break this down for you so there's no doubt in your mind of the Horde's innocence. Now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. First, let's examine why we all jumped to the conclusion that the Horde was the ones who burned Tedris Hill. We were led to this conclusion by Blizzard at BlizzCon 2017. But why would they mislead us? Could they have done it to spark even more hatred between the Horde and the Alliance? Blizzard's famous for telling us only what they want us to know or what they want us to believe to be true. The fact of the matter is that no one who burned Tedrasil would be a big reveal and a spoiler. One that I don't believe Blizzard would give away so soon or so easily. Okay, so let's take a look at the first picture that I believe gives us much of our proof. Now, in this picture, as you can see, there's many weapons scattered around and sticking out of the ground. But let's take a look and examine the weapons in a little bit more closer detail. The Alliance weapons are traditional in style and more medieval, like, you know, King of the knot of the round table kind of swords and that kind of thing. While the Horde, their weapons are big, gaudy, and brutal. Now these weapons that we're seeing here are obviously not Horde. Also, it's obvious that there was a battle here with Alliance weapons left behind. Also, let's take a look at the flag that we see here in the picture. Obviously, not Horde, because the Horde flags are much bigger and have the symbol of the Horde in the center for all to see. So, who does this flag belong to? Now, let's take a look at the boats that are in the distance. These boats are obviously not Horde. And you may be saying, how can I prove this is not a Horde boat? Simply, just take a look at the mast and you'll see that there's no Horde symbol. Whereas the Horde mast on their ships would proudly display the Horde symbol. Now, let's also go ahead and take a look at the sheer size of Tedrasil. You can see here in the first picture that Tedrasil is a tree that is so big that it houses an entire starting zone, including the city of Darnassus. Now in our next picture, we'll see the outside of the tree and the massive size of it. Burning a tree of this size would be a major undertaking. And if the Horde was the attacker, then they would have to have a lot of siege weapons, cannons, and thousands of foot soldiers. To do so undetected would not be easy, if at all even possible. Now, let's take a look at the map. Okay, so let's take a look here at what we, at our possible attack plans. We could go into the water, down and up, and then around, and attack Teldrassil with full force. But, we would be discovered. A, a, a convoy of that size would be discovered. Now we can go up through Ashara and into Mount Hygel. 
but let's take a look at Mount Hajjal. Mount Hajjal is surrounded by mountains, so that would not work. Next, let's go back and go up, or rather through the northern barrens, over to Stone Talon, into the water, up again, but we would be going past Dark, uh, dark Shore and would be discovered. So let's go back over, go through Ashara again, up into Winter Springs, again covered with mountains. So there's no way there as well. Now, no matter how you look at it, any attack plan that we would have possibly been able to pull off would have been spotted by the multiple encampments, for example, Dark Shore, and, you know, just an attack of that size would be very easily spotted by the Alliance. And they would be waiting on us here at Tedris Hill to stop us from uh, destroying their starting zone. But we're going to talk about that in just a few moments. As if this was not already enough evidence to show you that the Horde are innocent, I also see the fact that Blizzard showed us these two pictures, which clearly are meant to lead players to believe that the Horde were the attackers. But this wouldn't even be a strategic target for an attack that would obviously start the mother of all wars. When planning to strike the first blow in a war, you would plan it out very, very well. Stormwind or Iron, Iron Forge would be a strategic attack point where you could be able to do the maximum amount of damage, causing the a choke point, if you will. Burning Tedrasil does nothing to advance our, our place in this war. Also, Tedrasil has been very close for thousands of years. It's been in the same location as where it is now. If the Horde had wanted to burn it down, they would have already made kindling out of it a long time ago. Now, do you still think the Horde was the one who burned down Tedrasil? If so, tell me why in the comment section down below. If not, who do you believe burned Tedrasil down and framed the Horde? Tell me below. Let's try to figure this out. Now, that's going to wrap this video up. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you've not, give it a thumbs down. And in any case, be sure to comment down below and let me know why you feel this way. So until next time, have a good day and enjoy Azeroth.